Hey guys, I'm back here again uh, with another JavaScript question or thing from Code Wars. Uh, anyways, I'm still AQ. Uh, this one's a level 7 problem, and uh, I'm on that rank up mode, so let's go ahead and do this. This one's called Is This a Triangle? Um, I, I'm not really good with uh, these rectangle triangle stuff, so if it has to do with those coordinate stuff, I'm not going to be that good. But let's go ahead and read this. Implement a method that accepts three integer values a, b, c. The method should return true if a triangle can be built with the sides given length and false with the sides of given length and false if in any other case. In this case, all triangles must have a surface greater than zero to be accepted. Okay, so. How about I'll take this last case and take that for stars, so, um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna reformat that a little bit. Just get rid of this whole guy. Okay, so if A equals zero, or B is zero, or C is zero. So if any of those guys, um, or actually no, well, yeah. Surface greater than zero must be accepted. It doesn't make sense for any of these lengths to be zero, so I'm gonna return false right here. And let's see if that had, that knocks out any of the tests. Okay, cool. It knocks out one of the fifth one of the sixteen tests. Um, and I have some examples down here. This is true. Why is this one false? Well, it seems to be false because. Mm. Well, if we if we imagine a triangle, if uh, well, can't the angles be really small, like length two, length two, and length seven? Oh no, it can't be because um, if the third side is longer than the two other sides together, then it's pretty much like gonna stretch it out so far that it's like doing the splits, and so it's just gonna be a straight line. Um, so. A plus, B, A, A plus B cannot be greater than the C. Okay. Which is why these are okay. Um, yeah, the one and the two and the two. All right. And that does your return true for triangle. Okay. So I know there's a couple of other tests that I need to have in my mind, but for now, uh, this algorithm generally, it seems as if it's just going to be a bunch of conditionals. And as long as I hit all those conditionals, I'll be fine. Um, one thing I do know is that if, if A plus B is smaller than C, then it's going to be false. So if like 1 plus 2 is smaller than 2, which is what's this C here, then that's false. But not just A and B, it could be like B and C, A and C. So 1 and 2 has to be greater than that one. The Or the 1 and the 2 has to be greater than this, okay? And now the 2 and the 2 has to be greater than that. So I think, I think that does make sense. So if, um, and I could, I'm thinking, okay, I know that a bunch of conditionals will will be fine here, but what if I is there like a smart way to do this? That's what I'm thinking about. Mm. I don't think so. Or well, I'm pretty sure there is, but let's just get this over with. It's level seven, so that also gives us a hint not to overthink it. Just go ahead and do these conditionals. So if um, a plus B plus B is less than C and it can't even be equal to because if it's equal then that will also uh, result in a line um, then return false okay and I'm pretty sure that I could just make these all else ifs and so I'm gonna have to do this around three times, so boom. A and the B, the B and the C 
and the A and the C. And otherwise, turn true. So, uh, not sure if there's going to be other conditions. I'm hoping not, because I don't think so. Um, but if, if there is, then we'll just think of it. Uh, let's test it out for now. Oh, shoot, I failed everything. Alright, what happened? Read ton. Okay, I spelled that wrong. Turn. Okay, there we go. And I multi-select I did. Um, you highlight something and you press, if you're on the Mac, Command D. If you're on the PC, it might be something else, but I know that in the text uh, or in the, in Atom, uh, Command D does the same thing. So I just tried it here and it seems to work. A lot of the shortcuts from Atom seems to work, just like the Command Shift Enter to go up the line indent it. And so, yep. All right, let's see what we failed. Expected false instead got true. So there must be other conditions that we're not hitting. Um, let, let's see if we hit all the ones here though. Um, A and B, A and C, C and B, um, B and C. B and, we didn't hit B and C, okay. So maybe that's it. Maybe it's not a matter of creating a new test or a new test but rather hitting all the ones we already... Oh no, we have that right here. Okay, so that, that's not it. Let me delete that. All right. Um, what sucks about this is that we don't get to see what the test was. And this is very, very vague. Not much content here, not even any examples. Or that other than these, but these examples will pass, yep. Alright, so let, let's try to think of what else could be failing us. Expected false instead got true. Well, okay, let's think about this. A and B. Well, the properties of a triangle is... Huh. If A and B are less than the C, then yes, that's going to be false because then it'll be stretched out so far that it's going to be a straight line. And if it's equal to it, yeah, that's going to be a straight line too. But if anything's shorter than it, it's going to be like an extremely obtuse triangle, but it should work. Um, gosh, what else am I missing here? Implement a method that accepts three integer values, A, B, and C. The method should return true if the triangle can be built with the sides of given length and false in any other case. In this case, all triangles must have a surface greater than zero to be accepted. All, all surface, in this case, all triangles must have surface greater than zero. Okay, um, by surface, I'm assuming they mean side or, or like a, yeah, side. Um, unless we're suddenly dealing with like three dimensions and we're doing surface area or something. But I, I'm really confused here. Um, let's see, reported uh, this much 3,000 people. All right, there's been four issues by Silent Zaika, this Kata Sensei. All right, if, else if, else if, else if, okay. So if we just think logically, what will happen is numbers are put in here. It's going to jump through this first if. If any of these are zero, then boom, it's going to shut us down right away. Then it's going to see, okay, is A plus B lower than C? No. It's going to check that. It's going to check that. Um, a, C, A, B. Okay, we got that. B, C, B, A. We got that. C, A, C, B. Yeah, we got that. All right, A, B, A, B, C, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. Um, okay, you know, I'm going to click on these issues and see what's up. This comment has been hidden. All right. This triangle, battery method name, okay. I'll put 
a failed test is misleading. For example, I got expected false but was true when it should be expected true but was false. Huh, I don't know what the heck that is. Uh, when I, I get this when I run it in Java, no matter what the code is. Comment has been hidden. Alright. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna look at this guy's this guy's comment. Uh, comments been hidden by users if they feel contains information that may spoil the experience. Okay, dang. So this guy's be this guy's talking about some solutions here. Thanks for reply. Understand now. Okay. So apparently this Frank K guy, he's very high level, and uh, he had a question. Boom, this guy explained it. So he says thanks. He understands it now. And so, so maybe I'm missing something too. Isn't it a line? And not a triangle, so the line could be could also be a square. Yeah, gosh, this is just. Oh, and I got kicked out of my other one. Dang, I should have copied and pasted it. If I did, oh, okay, cool. My code's still in here. I'm gonna give myself like two more minutes on this question. If it's not, I'm gonna. I don't know. Unlock solutions, and I'm pretty sure I have to pay for that. Um, gosh, I hate it when freaking these tests are so weak and the output just like really stumps you because they're like saying you failed. Um, and you can't really, you can't like, you can't even console log these numbers out. Here, let me try console logging just the A. And it's not going to, oh, does it work? Hey, check this out. I swear I tried this before and it didn't work for me. All right, cool. I'm going to figure out why I'm failing these tests. All right, B. I do this just to make it cleaner for myself. Okay, so don't care about that, don't care about that, I care about these. I got a 1, 2, and 3. Okay, oh, you know what? I said this before, but if it's equal to it, it'd be also, it'd also be a straight line. There we go. So, uh, I was blaming everything else, but uh, there was nothing really to blame. It was totally my fault. I just had the wrong algorithm, and I'm pretty sure you guys already saw that before I even got to here, so... <clears throat> Sorry for putting you through that. Let's submit final and see if it takes it. And there we go. Cool. So that was, is this a triangle?